The joint United Nations program on HIV AIDS says its fast track approach could make a major impact. The aim is to end the AIDS epidemic around the world by 2030. Our reporter Wu Gaoshu spoke to the UN AIDS country director for China to hear how realistic the goal is and how it can be achieved in countries like China. It's ambitious target. But UNAIDS says remarkable results in response to the HIV virus make it possible to end the epidemic as a public health threat. Um, since um, 2005, um, the number of new infections have dropped by 40 percent. The number of AIDS-related deaths have dropped by 35 percent because more than ever since um, antiretrovirals were, were scaled up. So that is, those are the uh, good human results that we are now seeing that are making it possible for governments and global leaders to say there's a possibility that we could end, end HIV AIDS by 2030 as a public health threat. UNAIDS has set new targets to be achieved by 2020, ensuring that 90 percent of people living with HIV know that they have the virus, that 90 percent of people who know they are HIV positive are getting treatment, and that 90 percent of people on treatment have suppressed viral loads so their immune system remains strong and they're no longer infectious. The major challenge now is societal. So it's not as if the drugs are not on the shelves. It's not as if the condoms are not in the, in the warehouses. Stigma and discrimination, for me, is the biggest barrier for people to access all these huge resources that are out there. Official figures say 490,000 people are now living with HIV or AIDS in China. 149,000 have died from the disease. But mortality has fallen considerably here since 2005. The drop in mortality has been attributed to free HIV tests for all and free treatment for rural and poor urban citizens. The UN official now stresses the importance of bringing services to people most in need. 110 million tests. No country does as many tests, HIV tests, as China in the world. But now we're saying, how about 300 million tests? Of course, that will require huge, another huge amount of resources. But they can be targeted to where we think or where we know the people most at risk are. The cities, for instance, maybe not the rural areas, targeting the men who have sex with men population, the making sure that fem pro programs for female sex workers and their clients are in place, making sure that, you know, the people who inject drugs program, which is really seen as global best practice now, is scaled up and that, you know, HIV services are available for all those, all those people. UNAIDS says the world has succeeded in slowing the AIDS epidemic. But if global efforts are not rapidly scaled up in the next five years, the epidemic is likely to spring back with a higher rate of new HIV infections. Wu Guoxiao, CCTV, Beijing.